are nearly there. A bit more. Stop now. Watch the glass. Well, back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, then welcome to the channel. Um, oh, that was rather, wasn't it? Um, anyway, back in Grace, and everything is coming together. Packing, packing cupboards and stuff. We was up late last night, me and H and Harley. So everything is now getting packed in. We're getting ready to go. We have got 13 days. Oh, there's space in there. There's space. I found space, Trace. Um, yeah, so it's all looking pretty good. Got all our stuff in. Got to love it, and yeah, got to love it. Look, all packed up. Lovely jubbly. I don't know if this is boring for you, but I'm excited because you know it's all pretty much like a tiny home now. Even in the bathroom, where we got two leather handles now. It's better, isn't it? And before, and the wardrobe packed. We've got these sweet little slidey things from Sheen. Sorry, Trace, I just showed everyone your underwear. Yeah, look at my underwear. They are socks. Everyone loves socks. <laughs> There's another one to fit under there, but we've uh, misplaced the actual fixings for it. But uh, there's another one gonna go there anyway. So that's all packed up, that's great. What's going on in here? Oh, there's space, Trace. I found more space. <laughs> um, obviously there's stuff going on in there. We've got more stuff to bring in. That's all right, water tank's down under there so we can't put anything in there. And that's uh, pretty much packed up. This is all ready to go, lovely jubbly. Toiletries and stuff, gotta love it. Yeah, so we are literally, literally there. Um, I've got to bring the bed down because I've got to put a fly screen up there. I've got to figure a way of securing this TV when we're driving because it kind of just, it bounces about. As you can see, bouncy, bouncy, bounces around like that. So I need to figure out that. Got to get a window stay for there, but it's just little things. So I'm quite excited, as you can tell. Um, and Grace now has new shoes. She's got new shoes, baby. Big shout out to Home Tire. We've got six tires, because we've got a spare for Harley as well. Got brand new, four, well five brand new, brand new tires, including the spare. Brilliant. Um, fitted on my drive. Six tires less than 500 quid and they're pretty decent tires as well they come with really good reviews what are they I forget what they are they are max miller pro gts um yeah and they're rated c rated so the commercial 185 r14 profile is we had a nightmare when well, i said in the last video if you haven't watched it i was having a headache it was really complicated it's because we there's no profile written on the tires and so going around all the forums and stuff, couldn't find my registration on any of the sites. It just came up with, we cannot find your vehicle. So that wasn't helpful. Um, so good people on Facebook and stuff like that. I went on a couple of forums and everyone's going, yeah, it's 80, it's 80. 185, 80R14 is the size for this van. And probably many vans as well. So if you're having a headache trying to get tyres, that is probably the size. This is a Fiat Co Auto Stratus. Uh, 3.1 ton same as the auto quest and stuff like that so yeah top tip for you alexa i love you thanks for saying i love you you're just as sweet as pie know that i'll be there for you as always your trusty ai Ah, oh, just remembered, I promised Mrs. H I would do something about this in here because it's got this kind of weird red velvet on it. Um, so I'm going to have to empty this. I'm going to try and paint it. It's like a 
got a weirdness to it, but I might be able to paint it. If I can paint it and get away with it, I will. If I can't, then we'll have to re reline it with something. But yeah, so that looks a bit there, doesn't it? Aha, result. Painted it, took a few coats, but yep, yeah, it's all good. Spray painted the pink thing at the bottom with some car paint and then lacquered it. Come up a treat, that's much better. Mrs. H is gonna love me even more, if that's possible at all. So we started uh, clearing up the house. Morning, by the way. <laughs> How many days left? 11? Something like that. Anyway, it's early in the morning, so we start clearing up the house. We've been doing this for a while, actually. All these power tools, we've got cell. It's Wendy house to sell. Um, it's an absolute mess, as you can tell, everywhere. Um, so Tracy's off work today, so we're cracking in with it. Cracking in with it. Cracking on with it. Um, this is my old studio. Which I've dismantled a lot of it. This was my workshop. I've dismantled a lot of it. It's a bit dark in here, but old computer, old studio computer, I've got a cell. I've got guitar amps, guitars, drum kit, there's a sofa in here, Some more power tools. Um, another guitar amp on there. These are cool guitar amps. I built these. These are hand built by me. Outstanding vintage tone, but I don't know what to do with them. I don't know whether to keep them, put them in storage, or get rid of them. Yeah, it's hard. This is one of the hardest things so far is letting stuff go. It's like being roof being roofless. Trees are growing into the shed. This this shed's pretty much at it. It's falling to pieces, but it served its purpose for us while we were here. Um, it's a good little studio. So. That's what we're doing today, so yeah, it's going to be a hell of a day. It is really hot. It's now 8 o'clock in the evening. It's still 27 degrees. Woo We've been out in it all day. Um, made lots of progress on the storage. Our storage unit's too small, really, but we're doing our best to get everything in there that we can. We're just going to have to be a bit more ruthless, I think, with some of the stuff. Ruthless. Ruthless. Ruthless? No, that's having no roof. Ruthless? If your girlfriend's called Ruth and she leaves you, you're ruthless? I don't know, anyway. Um, I'm delirious. Um, so, what I'm doing now, I'm just editing video for you guys. And uh, trying my chill Max Air out, which is actually quite nice. Uh, with the old Max Air fan going, I'm getting a nice breeze. I've got the windows open with the fly nets and all that. So, tomorrow, anyway, tomorrow. This van comes off the drive, goes over to the car, but Harley's van comes back and we're going to put a DC, DC charger in. She ran out of power again, but it took about three days. I think she was okay for about three days. And she didn't get a lot of solar today because she was parked under some trees and stuff. Um, so it ran out, but she does need that DC, DC charger. If she had that because she's done some miles, she's been traveling around, she probably would have been all right. But I reckon one or two visits a week Probably one visit a week to a campsite would be good to plug in, recharge, which is good for emptying your water and your toilet and all that, I suppose, as well. And chillaxing. Uh, in the winter, probably more like two visits to a campsite a week would be necessary with our setup. Uh, we can upgrade our setup. Uh, at the moment, we've got 300 watt solar, um, but we don't have MPPT chargers, and we can go up to 400 watt on this system. So it may be a case of, uh, in the future, adding another panel and uh, changing the, char the uh, controller, charge controller. I can't speak, I'm so tired. Anyway, let's go see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.
morning. Blah, blah, 10 days left, 10 days left. A uh, little tweak I'm doing before I do anything else today. This little door down here, I forgot about this ages ago. I meant to do this ages ago. Um, hits the very terrible Logan table leg. Um, and there's storage in there. And I need somewhere to put the hoover and some other bits and bob. They also, obviously the diesel heater is in there as well. But also the shut off valve for the boiler, the water boiler. So I'm just going to take this door off, cut that off there so we can open it and get in there. Don't know why I forgot about it, but I did. And I just noticed it now and I was looking for a space for that. So I'm going to do that now. And Bob Marley's your auntie. Here it is. Oh, it's a bit stiff. There you go. We can get right in there. Hoover, diesel heater's there. Put a little partition so nothing bangs into the diesel here. And in there, you've got the water boiler. I don't know if you can see it in there very well. And with the gas shot off valve and stuff. So there's quite a bit of space in there, which is lovely. Jubbly. Which means Mrs. H just got to love me more, right? Welcome to the storage unit. We've got so much more stuff to bring in yet and we're pretty much full in here. Um, hmm. Nine days left. Nine days. <laughs>